Still keeping an eye on Columbus as we take a closer look at the recent vote to approve new district lines for the next decade. Deputy City Manager Pam Hodge and her team adjusted the district lines according to the 2020 census data. Using that data, the goal is to draw each district so that population and demographic numbers fall within a target range, all while trying to keep neighborhoods intact. After the last meeting, the concern with the final map was demographics. District 8, which covers West Central Columbus, falls short of the ideal population and demographic benchmarks. That district and District 5, which also covers a portion of Central Columbus, stand to change the most with a new proposal. News 3 spoke with the city councilors representing those districts. I lost East Highlands or a big portion of that, and uh, that did hurt a little bit just because I've really, I've, I've given a lot of time and effort to help in that area, and uh, the residents there have been so good to me, they're like family. It doesn't matter whether you live in my district or not. I'm a counselor for everybody, and I'm a counselor for everybody who lives in this town and every constituent. District 5 Councilor Charmaine Crabb tells News 3, quote, The commission was very thorough and conscientious with the job they were set out to do, and yes, I am satisfied with the new proposed district lines, end quote. The maps have been sent to the Georgia Legislative and Congressional Reapportionment Office. The approval will uh, have to come at the state level first, and then after that, Columbus City Council will vote on the map.